We have had plenty of wet weather so far this spring, every weekend, I believe. But so far, knock on wood, severe weather has not been or has not been here. It's been missing from the forecast of late. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith explains why this is happening. The severe weather season has been off to a slow start so far, and the big reason for this has been our storm track, mainly out to the west, which has kept the best environment for these storms also out towards the west. That means not much in the way of tornadoes so far in the months of March and April. In 2023, we've only seen one in the Palmetto State. Compare that to dozens that we saw even in the last few years. We're actually below average, normally around eight tornadoes so far as we get towards the end of April, about seven below that as of right now. The slowest start since 2016 and April is typically a pretty busy month. So the fact that we've had no tornado so far is actually very uncommon. Only seven years over the past 30 have seen this actually occur. Over the last five years, it's really a lot of variability here that we've seen in our tornado activity. You'll see that as we move things forward, we have some very active years like 2020 and 2022, but also some very quiet years like 2021 as well as this year. So it really just depends on the pattern that's going on and what we're seeing from the month to month during these severe weather seasons. Climatologically speaking, March through May is when we see most of our activity with April being the busiest month. But also notice we have another bump out towards August, September and October. That's actually the tropical season where we can see landfalling storms creating some issues as they move inland. They spawn tornadoes even as they get weaker as they move through the southeast. With that being said, let's take a look at the forecast going forward not really conducive for any tornadic outbreaks, I would say, in the southeast. Cooler weather overall in the eastern U.S. should at least support some quieter weather, maybe some isolated chances for thunderstorms in the forecast as we go forward. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. And even with the lack of severe weather, we've uh, not been dry in the Midlands. We're still running above average rainfall so far this year with more rain expected this week. And for uh, that, we're going to bring